Good morning. Hey, I'm so excited you joined me again. So today it's Tuesday morning and we are here together. So how did it go? How was it yesterday? How do you feel? What are some successes or challenges that came up from working from home, from homeschooling your child? I want to hear from you. Um, so thanks everybody for joining the Facebook Live. I think it was helpful. And I'm so excited for everyone that signed up for my remote crash course on um, working from home. Uh, so I just want to thank you for all the support. And I want to tell you again that I'm here for you. So today I wanted to kind of talk about addressing some of the hiccups or the challenges that came up yesterday and kind of figuring out ways to get through them. So since it's pretty early this morning and you're about to set up and plan for your day, I'd like you to think about the successes and challenges you had from yesterday. Make a list, right? And I don't want us to focus on the challenges. I want us to focus on the successes, right? So through um, my training, especially when I work a lot with corporate, I like to focus on strength-based training. So I want us to really focus on the positive and what makes us good at what we do because that drives us, that creates hope, that motivates us. If we focus on the things that we're struggling with, that really just squashes us. It keeps us stuck. And who wants to be stuck? You have no time to be stuck right now. You are in pure survival mode. So I want you to think about the things that went well and how you can maybe do one or more two things, maybe three things today that you could do really well. I want you to focus on that. So, because with everything that's going on in the news, we're forgetting about the positives. So that's what I want you to do today. I want you to make a list of all the things that are going well. So then, so you see where I'm going, right? So when we make things, that we make lists of things that are going well, we also show gratitude. So showing gratitude is really important today. Um, especially being day two, things are still uneasy and we're trying to get into our structure, getting through our day, you know, just giving statements of gratitude to the family members in your house can be really powerful. Like, hey, you know, I'm grateful you emptied the dishwasher. I'm grateful you did the laundry. I'm grateful that we're here together. It might be really stressful at times, but I'm grateful for you, right? So let's focus on the positives today because that can really help us get through some of the stressors and the things that are going on. So if you haven't had a chance, I would definitely go and check out that crash course that we have online. Um, I also have about three or four blogs out. We have blogs coming out daily with resources and worksheets. Get them, download them, right? I want to be here for you and I also want to give you as much as I can. So with that, just do me a favor today and do your homework. Give me five things that you're grateful for and share with your family. And you'll see it kind of makes a difference, especially when we have a sense of like everything's going wrong. If we can focus on that one thing that's going right, it can change the way we perceive our day. And that can change everything because our thoughts drive our behaviors. But what drives our thoughts are our emotions. So as we go more and more through this together, I'm going to go to the deep core of social emotional learning and emotional intelligence because those are the tools that we need when we're working with our tweens or teens or children is to be able to identify the emotion, so emotional literacy, and then address them in a different way, different perception, so that we can have the behaviors and the outcomes that are positive and that puts everyone in a better place. Now that's a lot of jargon I just threw at you, but I just wanted to start with kind of showing you where I'm going, right? I wanna be able to help you work through some of the conflict and the stuff that might happen because you know being a bully teacher for 12 years I've seen all of the different negative emotions and I also want to prep you with the tools that you need for online behaviors your kids are going to be a ton online right now through gaming social media apps so there might be an increase in social um, drama and cyber bullying and cyber drama cyber conflict all that fun stuff so I want to provide you with tools with that so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm also going to de dedicate a ton of time of understanding how to set expectations and rules in your home so that you can um, have the same, the same expectations and ideals as we are moving all our things online. Because I'm sure that if your children are spending more time on social media, you might be too. Uh, I am. I mean, I'm with you, which I'm very excited, but I'm spending a lot more time online. And it's something that you have to pay attention to is 
what is the message you're giving to your kids. So wanted to kind of put that all out there for Tuesdays. So my tip for Tuesday is five things you're grateful for and share them, okay? Tomorrow we're going to talk more about emotional literacy and some tools and helps to kind of manage because usually on a hump day, um, there could be some additional challenge of just getting irritated with each other. So we'll go through that. Thursday we'll go through online tips and um, some best practices for social media. And Friday we'll recap it all. Um, so don't forget that my next Facebook Live is Wednesday um, at 12 Central Time. So I hope to get to talk to you then. Okay? Happy Tuesday, everyone. Bye.